It was a story that sent shockwaves through Greater Manchester and beyond. Two-year-old Romario Mulling Sewell and his three-month-old brother Delano, both killed by a single stab wound to the chest at their home in Cheatham Hill. The boy's mother, 21-year-old Jail Mullings, was sectioned immediately following the stabbings and today in court she denied two counts of murder but pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. As she was taken away by four nurses, she smiled and blew a kiss to friends and relatives in the public gallery. Many close to the family believe this tragedy could and should have been avoided. From today, the Independent Police Complaints Commission will look into how police responded to concerns about the family's welfare. On that morning, Jail Mullings was seen pacing these streets in Cheatham Hill and acting in what neighbours described as an erratic way. She also made a call to her doctor's surgery and sounded so distressed that they contacted the police, once at 10 past one and once at 10 to two. But it wasn't until 10 to three that police arrived here at their family home. And by that time, Jail Mullings and her two sons were nowhere to be found. The police then continued to try and trace Jail Mullings but were unsuccessful. At quarter to six, they were informed that the boys had been found dead. Manchester Children's Services are also being investigated following the deaths. It emerged that Jail Mullings had twice abandoned her two-year-old Romario, once at a hospital and once at a doctor's surgery. But just months later, social services closed the case on Mullings, deeming her capable of caring for her children with the supports of other agencies. Well, they should have done more. I mean, they, they, they've had warnings, haven't they? they they've, been, they've been round to the house... One of them's been, she left one of them in a hospital. So who do you yeah. hold responsible then for the tragedy? The authority, the local authority, the social services, the doctor, her GP, whoever knows about her illness. Neither of the investigations are expected to conclude before the end of the summer. Jail Mullings remains in a secure hospital unit and will be sentenced on the 28th of April. Nina Warhurst, Channel M News.